Hi, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today I'm showing you how to make a Kingston sound system. I stumbled across this recipe on the Punch website and they set out uh, to challenge bartenders to create a cocktail inspired by their favorite music genre. Shannon from Gladys Bar in New York City uh, picked reggae and his particular song was Skylarking and given the, the reference uh, to, to birds in the song title and the, and the song, uh, he decided to do a bit of a riff on a jungle bird with a few changes, but the, the key change being uh, Suze, which is a gentian liqueur in place of Campari. If you guys haven't seen the jungle bird, it's a delicious uh, tiki style drink using a bitter component, which is kind of unusual. Uh, if you haven't seen it, check it out up here. But let's get started on the drink itself. Um, this calls for two different kinds of rum. Uh, it does call for an aged pot still Jamaican rum. Um, Better if you use something a little bit more aged. If you have an eight year old or more, then go ahead and use that. Uh, it calls for 30 mil, one ounce. So this is just the uh, Appleton Estate signature blend. Thanks Rick W for the Ray and Nephew Overproof Rum. So white ov overproof, uh, 15 mil, half an ounce. Punch does recommend rum fire. Then we've got 15 ml, half an ounce of Suze, gentian liqueur. So replacing that bitter component from the Jungle Bird. And this recipe does call for soursop, which is a fruit native to America and the Caribbean. It's not available here. I've never heard of it. I've never tried it. Uh, Punch does also suggest the substitution of pineapple juice. So I'm assuming the, sal assuming the soursop is like a, a, a sweeter juice. Um, this does call for 15 ml, half an ounce of sour sop or pineapple juice. I thought it, using pineapple juice probably makes sense to people at home. Uh, not everyone's going to have access to sour sop or have one lying around in the fridge. Uh, we've got three quarter ounce, 22.5 ml of fresh lime juice as well. Add that in, fill the glass with ice, and give it a good shake. Now normally I pre-juice my lemon and lime juice and put it into a bottle, and I've already uh, fine strained it. So now that I'm using a citrus press, I'll double strain that over fresh ice, get rid of any excess pip or pulp that may be inside here. Tides out a little bit. And garnish with a skewered, skewered lime wheel and a couple of pineapple fronds if you have them. And they have a Kingston sound system. Cheers. I do have my doubts on this one because I feel like there should be a, another sweet component. Um, I don't know if the pineapple juice is going to be sweet enough to balance out that lime juice. Um, and it's got its own acidity as well, so... Cheers. Whoa, definitely get that, that overproof rum coming through, that's, that's pretty potent. I do feel like it needs a little bit of sugar, whether it just be a, like seven, even seven and a half mil, quarter ounce of simple syrup or demerara would make the world of difference. Which I will do. So that was seven and a half mil. Quarter ounce of Demerara. This is the kind of stuff that Educated Barfly does off camera. I like to do it on camera, why not? Cheers. Way better. 
Oh, so much better with that, just that, that little touch of sugar. Um, you get the different dimensions, the different rum. The, the gentian liqueur, the Suze, is actually, it's hidden. I, f I feel like you could also have a little bit more of this. But it's, it's a pretty nice drink. Just, uh, yeah, I'd probably bump up the Suze as well. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.